Hey there, Jackhammers, and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness here on Patreon. Well, it's October, it's my birthday month, it's a month of pumpkins. My daughter actually drew that. It is preparing us to get into November, which is a month of gratitude. So I bought myself a little birthday present. It was this sign. It says, gratitude changes everything. And I want you to think about that today as we go through some metabolic madness, okay? So what we have today are really fun circuits that really challenge our conditioning, that challenge our agility and coordination because we do some combination moves in those circuits, okay? Each of them are based on a number that we will repeat over and over. And I hope that they will help you to be thankful for your amazing body and all that you can accomplish no matter what modifications you use to get it done, okay? All you'll need for this workout are some dumbbells, your can-do attitude strapped right on and double knotted, okay? <laughs> You'll need a lot of water and uh, your exercise mat for some support for your joints. And that is about it. Um, it's a really fun workout. To the end, we are going to um, really tackle some fun and functional moves that we don't always do. So I have done two rounds of those moves. You can do as many rounds as you'd like. I shoot for two to four just depending on what time you have, okay? So when you have everything ready for this fun and functional metabolic masterpiece, I will see you back here for your warm up and your October Jackhammer Challenge. All right guys, are you ready to get this month's Jackhammer Challenge started? I am, even though it's early, even though I'm sleepy, I'm ready. Let's start it off with a good warm up. With some volume, okay? <laughs> All right, let's just start with a nice boxer shuffle. Shake those arms out. The cool thing about this workout is each circuit is based on a number. So the first circuit you'll have four rounds of some combination moves, which have four of each move in each little combo. And you'll do the same thing with three and two. It's going to be really fun. All right, take those legs wide. Let's bend those knees. Push back into our hips. We have to ask the knees nicely to do what we want. At least at this house we have to. <laughs> All right, as you feel more comfy, start reaching. hips to be opened up. We want our inner thighs to be nice and ready. I want you to think about my new picture today. I got it for my birthday. It says gratitude changes everything. I bought it for myself. <laughs> but it really does. We cannot change the things that life causes us to look at. But boy, we can absolutely control how we see them. Do one more each side. So, let your gratitude for your body, however it looks or feels today, change everything. When I started feeling differently and forcing myself to be thankful for my body, I found that it started to do the things I wanted it to do. And I started taking care of it. And then it looked the way that made me feel good. And it moved the way that made me feel good. So gratitude changes everything. One more each side. Oh yeah. All right, let's do some lateral leg swings. Balance challenge. Keep the core tight. We're warming that up too. If you need a wall, which I should be using, <laughs> you can do that. Switch sides. I have a crooked floor. <laughs> I actually do, but I can't use that as an excuse that I'm not on the farm anymore. Two more. Good. All right, let's go down to our mats. Warm up those arms. I'm going to make some circles at the top. I'm going to walk down. I'm going to do two knee push-ups. 
I'm gonna walk it back up. I'm gonna circle. I'm gonna walk back down again. Lift it up. This time I'm gonna add a little bit of core work. Not that this isn't core work, <laughs> walking it down, but after a few push-ups, let's do four oblique knee tucks. Rotate those arms forward this time, across the body, and take it down for two more push-ups. <laughs> and four more knee tucks. And walk it up. And swing those arms. All right, guys. You are all finished with your warm-up. I want you to take a big drink of water. I want you to think about your first circuit and how for each combo move, we're gonna be doing four reps of each part, how we're gonna do four rounds, and how you're gonna crush it and be thankful for your amazing body. See you in just a second. All right, guys, are you ready to tackle this first circuit with me? We are gonna do four giant climbers and four sit-throughs, okay? You can do these really quickly and try to get in as many reps as possible. Um, or you can do nice, slow, wide mountain climbers and really feel that tension and that strength increasing in your core, okay? So I'll give you some modifications. You have 15 seconds. So giant climbers look like this, okay? If you don't wanna do them high, high, high impact, you can take it this way, okay? And then do your sit throughs. I'm gonna face this way so you have to look at my behind the whole time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna take a leg here, sit through, okay? Sit through. You don't have to add the hop there if you don't want. One, two, three, four. Sit through, sit through. One, two, three, four. Sit through. Your next move is going to be four froggy squats, which just means we're going to place our elbows between our knees and only lift our behinds. Okay, we're doing that times four. So one, two, looks funny, three, four, then we're gonna hop. Two, three, four. Now, if you'd like, you can do your froggy squats. Three, four, and just do a regular air squat. Two, three, four. One, two, why am I jumping? Three, four. So here comes the froggy squats. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Woo, that burns. Now we're gonna do four plank hip dips on the left, four on the right. Goodness, I'm tired and I'm clumsy this morning, but that's okay. We're getting it done. There we go. So we're gonna go here, one, two. You can do these on your knee, three, four. Other side, one, two, three, four. So if you need to go down on that knee, one, two, three, four, that side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, good job. All right, we are back at the beginning. 
with those giant climbers. Your first round is finished. Here we go. So, you want to take them fast, or I'm sorry, slowly. Two, three, four. And you can sit through one, step it. Two, three, four. I apologize, on the first round, I only did, I think, two sit throughs. Three, four. And this is supposed to be based on four. One, two, three, four. And it wouldn't even work out unless I forgot something. One, two, three, four. One, two. I'm doing it without the hop here. Lower impact this round. Good job. All right. We have four froggy squats plus four squats or squat jumps. There we go. It's early. <laughs> As you can hear though, out on the road here, <laughs> it's not too early for everyone and their brother to be driving big trucks right while I'm trying to have a nice quiet place to record them today. I love my house. Three, four, good job. One, two, three, four. Have that hop. If you want to, Three, four, froggy squats. One, two, sounds like I live on Daytona Speedway. Three, most days. I love it, I have not had any trouble sleeping because of that noise. All right, four plank hip dips on the left, four on the right. Almost halfway through this circuit. You can go up on the palm if you want. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, less than 10 seconds, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. All right, what's next? Our third round. Here we go, four giant climbers, high or low impact. Okay, quickly or slowly, however you can get it done. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Step it through. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three, four. Woo. One, two, three, two, three, four. Well, oh, stay by the bell. All right, froggy squats. Times four. Four squat jumps or squats. So sleepy this morning. Only had about a half cup of coffee. One. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Whew. one, two, three, four. I go to take my licensing exam for my new job this weekend. So prayers would be great that I pass this. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. There we go. Good job. All right. Four plank hip dips on each side. 
You got this. We have one more round after this. You're going to be just fine. Promise. Modify if you need to. One. Drive it up. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Stack that shoulder. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Switch. One. Smile. Two. Three. Four. One more. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. Nice. Could this be our last round? It is. Four giant climbers. Slowly or quickly, higher low impact, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Step it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Tighten that core. Four. Think about what you're doing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, reach it out. Three, and four. Good job last time doing that. Froggy squats and squat jumps or just squats. Do you hear the geese flying south? <laughs> I'm right by the river. So you can hear the geese flying. Three, four, four jumps. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, you can just make regular squats out of these squat jumps. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, oh, two, three, four. Good job. All right, plank hip dips, left and right. Last time, breathe it out. Look good about what you're doing. Three, two, one. Shoulder and elbow in line. One, two, sweat in the eyeball. Three, four, switch it. One, two, squeeze at the top. Three, four, focusing on the oblique on the bottom. One, two, three, Four, that's driving the hips up. One, two, three, four. Switch. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Very good. All right, guys. We have a 30 second three round set to do. I'm going to reset my camera because it's harder to import when I have really long segments. So while I do that and while you get a drink and while you look at your next exercises, we will recover and get back together. See you in just a second. All right, guys, let's rock and roll with this next circuit. We have three rounds. We have 30 to intervals and we have combination moves again each based on the number three. So the first one we'll have is three switch lunges and three groiners. Then we'll have three jacks, three verticals. And we'll have three lateral jumps and three tricep push-ups, okay? Here we go. This is very leg focused, but we got some triceps in there. You have 10 seconds. Oh, here it goes. There we go. So three switch lunges. These could also just be regular reverse lunges. 
the groiners could be slow or fast and just be kind of like those giant climbers we did, which are basically the same thing. I just thought you guys might get bored if I call them the same thing. Here we go. One, two, three. Now we're gonna do one, two, three. One, two, three. going up and down. Make sure to take time with your transitions. One, two, three. Here we go. One, two. Hope I'm not shaking you all up. Three. One, two, three. One. Use those arms. Two, three. Reach for that ceiling. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one. <laughs> I kind of jumped the gun there. All right, I'm gonna do my verticals this way, so I have room for the tricep push-ups. We have three lateral jumps. Two, three, down. Tricep push-ups. Arms close. Two, three. Elbows close to the side. One, two, three. One, two. Three, do these on knees if you need to. Take out the jump and do big steps. Three, if you need to. One, two, good. All right, it appears that we're back to the top. Here we are. You can always take any of these moves low impact. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, Two, three, 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 one, two, three. Be thankful for your body, even when it hurts, because gratitude changes everything. Three jacks, three verticals. These can be low impact. You can go here, two, three. You can do speedy squats, two, three, okay? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And what I meant by speedy squats is narrow, speedy ski squats. It's just like coming out. Two, three, one, two, Good. Three laterals, three tricep push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Keep that core tight. Two, three, have fun. Go to the knees if you need to. Two, three, just don't side those hips and arch the back. One, good. All right. Back to the beginning for the last time. Aren't you glad? Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, Two, three, 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 one, two, three. Where are we going? One, good. Just for a little longer. <laughs> All right. Last time we have to do that. Three jacks, three verticals. Again. Low impact is a good option here. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, woo, one, 
I needed this metabolic right here. Three. It's been a stressful week, but a good week. Okay, awesome. Three lateral jumps, or three wide steps, or three curtsies, whatever you can do. Three tricep push ups. One, two, three. One, two, look straight forward. Three. One, two, three. No reason to curl that neck under. Two, nothing to see there. And that. Tell me. One, two, three. Tighten your core. One, two, three. Oh, I'm glad that's over. All right. We're finished with that set. Our last circuit, at least our last body weight circuit, is only going to be two rounds. But don't let that fool you because those rounds will be 50 10 intervals, okay? So take a breather. I'm gonna switch that camera again and I'll see you back here for that. Awesome job. Woo! All right, guys, are you ready for our circuits based on two? I am. We're gonna do two rounds of them, like I said, 50 10 intervals. We have two wide push ups, two plank jacks first, okay? You have 10 seconds. All right, so these wide push ups. They can be done on our knees, okay? Our plank jacks can be done low impact. So make this work for you. The wide push ups are gonna have my fingers out wide, okay? So one, two, okay? Plank jacks from here. One, two, okay? Here we go. One, two, one, two. You can take them to knees. One, two. You can do them low impact. One, two, okay? Make it work for you. Actually, that one only has two rooms. Less than 10 seconds. Squeeze that chest. Good, what makes those plank jacks harder having that wide grip. Okay, two curtsies on the left, two squats, two curtsies on the right. You can add weights to this if you want. We'll just make it focus on precision and speed. So I think I might put squats in the middle every time. Two squats, two curtsies on the right. Two more squats. I like that a little better. Curtsy. Remember to keep those hips forward. Good time. Stay low. 10 seconds. A little leg burn. Good. All right, now we're gonna do a narrow plank hop times two and two froggers, okay? Woo, sweat in the eyes. So, one, two, one, two. You can take these up slowly, okay? One, two, okay? You, but I'm really glad <laughs> you went two rounds of this. I have so many funny stories about my new job that involve driving to the wrong place, taking the wrong pictures, <laughs> something funny my boss did. I'm afraid they're so inside that you have to be there to get it. So I'm gonna try to think of some good stories and share them with you all. All right, we're back to the beginning with those two wide push-ups. This is our last round. Give it all you got. You can take the legs wide too to take less pressure off your chest. One, two, take them wide. One, 
Thank you. actually been shown in several studies that if you have it at an hour before your workout, you can increase your performance just because it makes you feel like you have more energy. One, two, one. Last time you're doing this one, make it good. Good. Ooh, sweat in the eyes. You need to come up with an invention to stop that. Here we go. A few plank hops. One, two, one, two, two progress. Strong plank. Think about your abs. They won't be thinking about you. So think about that. that. I want you to take a minute, take a break. I want you to get your weights out for a fun and functional strength set. We're going to do two to four rounds of it. I will probably do two. So I still got to go teach a boot camp today. We're going to do 45 to 15 intervals. intervals. We're going to incorporate some metabolic conditioning with some core and some functional movements that we don't often do. So gear up for that. Get a drink, recover for a minute, and I'll see you back here for that. All right, guys, I hope you had a good break. We are now gonna do some fun and functional strength sets. You can do these two to four rounds. I'm gonna do two with you guys. Let me know how many you do. I have to go teach boot camp after this, so I wanna make sure I have some gas left in the tank, okay? So our first move is going to be a gorilla walk to a clean and press. So I'm putting two weights on opposite ends of my mat, okay? So I'm gonna come down here, my hands are going to go to the side. I'm going to gorilla walk to one end of my mat, okay? Then I'm going to take my weight. I'm going to clean it, press it, okay? Same thing, other side, okay? So grab a weight that's appropriate for you for a clean press. If you don't want to do gorilla walks, you could also just do a nice lateral uh, squat. That'll work just fine. Then we've got a corkscrew to a reverse crunch, so I'll show you that when we get to it. When we do that, we're going to lower our legs into a leg lower. Then we have a burpee with four punches and then alternating single arm snatches. I'm using 30 for the cleans and presses and the snatches. With the alternating single arm snatches, you could add a surrender to the bottom, a ninja, whatever you wanna do, okay? We are adding resistance to our metabolic conditioning, so it's gonna make it even harder and be a nice burnout for us, okay? So here we go, you have 15 seconds. I probably should have started the time when I was yammering on about it, but I didn't. So here we find ourselves, okay? I may start with those cleans and presses, just because I'm here at one end of the mat. Okay, here we go. So using our legs, clean it, press it. Take it back down. A little walk. Down you go. 
my outside arm for the cleaning press. And the next round, I'm going to do two of them. I like doing two cleaning presses. Good. All right, moving the weights. Now, the corkscrew. So, what you're going to do here, you're going to twist and bring one hip off the ground, okay? That's why it looks like, or it's called a corkscrew. You're going to take one hip off the ground and twist one way. Lower the legs. Now you're going to come back up. Twist the other way. Lower the legs, getting our obliques here, but then also our entire abdominal wall. If you tuck that chin, then you will get even more goodness out of this. You can keep the hands under the glutes. Get a good twist. Grab with your back here. Good. All right, I think we got our burpee with four punches. I'm just gonna use 10 pounds for the punches so I can do them quickly. You can do you. I'm gonna do a chest to floor burpee. I'm gonna try to make it as dynamic as I can. Here we go. So, going down for the burpee. Keep the core tight. together. <laughs> really good after. I maintain a nice low posture for that four punch combo. Very core focused. Alternating single arm snatches, easy for me to say. I'm gonna use one weight here. Move the other one. So, single arm snatch, we're using a lot of legs here. So, take it up. We are letting the force on our legs extend all the way up to our upper body. You want to add a uh, surrender to this. That'd be a fun idea. Ooh. Ooh. You could add a ninja tuck. Okay, that'd be fine. Legs work ready for that. Oh. Good. All right. Get your weights ready for that gorilla walk and clean and press. This is my final round. You can keep going. It's okay to come here. There we go. I'm going to do two cleans and presses. Down into our gorilla walk. room. I would love to do more of these before I get to the other side. That's okay. Woo. Good times. One more. Good. Corkscrew. Reverse crunch, leg lower. Move those weights. Then I'm ready for your burpee punches. Here we go. Works through. Give me one hit. Driving it up the most. I 
are you doing? Are you doing good times? We have those burpees with four punches, a little combat hit here. Good times. There you go. Really needed this workout today. Kind of decompress from the week, but also just to take a study break. I want you to start a cactus pose, drive those elbows back and down, open up the chest, squeeze the back. Excellent. Take them both sides up. Take your lungs back this way and then sit back into that heel on the left. Oh, it's like the side you're doing. We're going to draw our bodies forward to stretch the hamstring here. We're also stretching our toes in the back because we're kind of coming up on tippy toes there. All right, let's switch sides back into that nice stable position before we reach the right leg back and before we sit back. This is called fire toes in yoga. It does feel like fire a little bit in that back foot. Especially for me, I have uh, just feet that are racked and wrecked from skating. All right, now we're going to pivot those feet to the front, okay? We're gonna send our hips back, kind of move those forearms to the ground, pushing back into our heels. Foot and lift and twist. Notice 
Adjust your neck here. Get it tight. All right. Center. And right hand to left foot. Lift and reach. Twist as you reach. All right. There we go. I want you to walk it in just a little bit. Push out on those knees. Stretch the hips. Enjoy this. Woo! Good. I'll see you reset. Walk those feet in. Nice little hand stretch from here. Have to take care of those hamstrings. When they're tight, we get back problems. Mine aren't even tight and I got a little back problem. Slowly come up, roll those shoulders back. Awesome. Pull them forward, big circles. Good time. I got wild hair going on here, I can feel it. So excited. Good. All right, tricep stretch. Other side. And release those hands behind you. Pull back, open up that chest. those fingers down. Take it out. And you are all done for today. Awesome job, guys. I hope you had fun. I hope you feel nice, and sweaty, tired, and accomplished, okay? I really be thankful because, as you know, gratitude changes everything, okay? It may not change our circumstances, but it will certainly change us. I will see you back here to send you off and wish you well until I see you again. See you in a second. All right, guys, awesome job crushing your October Jackhammer Challenge. I hope it was a little fun and different for you. I hope using your own body weight for strength and cardio moves was fun and basing those moves on a certain number and focusing on agility was a good challenge for you. And I hope those fun and functional moves that we don't always do uh, at the end were also a good challenge for you. Please let me know how many rounds you did. I will congratulate you. And perhaps bow down a little. So make sure that you take care of your amazing body today. Be thankful for it because the broken record says that gratitude changes everything. So remember that. Be thankful. The changes I've seen in myself have not been without a lot of struggle. Um, but the struggle wasn't the workouts that um, caused my muscles to grow. The struggle was with being thankful for exactly the way that I was made. And I've spent years not appreciating the way that I was fearfully and wonderfully made. So try to focus on that, and I think you'll find that those changes will happen. And not by magic, but by the fact that when you are thankful for something, you take care of it, okay? You cultivate it like a, a garden of flowers, okay? And when you take care of your body, it will start performing, it will start giving you the results that you are supposed to have okay so don't rob your body of things because you don't love it try to reverse your thinking take care of your body and you will find that it can do and it will um, produce this amazing result okay so that's your challenge for this month also make sure you drink a lot of water today in keeping in line with taking care of your amazing body make sure that you get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout Please reach out to me if you need a customized nutrition plan or just some nutritional counseling, encouragement, um, or some online personal training and coaching, okay? Sometimes it's hard to get with your in-town trainer during these 
corona-filled times, so you can always use me and we can do some virtual visits if that is going to be something that's helpful to you, okay? Email me at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com if you're interested in doing that. Say a little prayer for me for my licensing exam if you don't mind, and um, we'll just all pray that that goes well. <laughs> Other than that, tell your friends and family about us. Um, help them to start seeing their bodies as they really should be seen as the beautiful and wonderful things that they are. Try to keep that chin up because as we know, it's not what happens to us that makes our life good or bad. It's definitely how we see, okay? Let's learn to see this month. Let's be thankful for whatever we can. Let's try to be creative in thinking that everything is for a wonderful purpose and trying to figure out what that is, okay? Make sure that you love those difficult people and until we meet again, whether you felt like a metabolic master or whether you deemed yourself a metabolic disaster, you finished. And as always, it's your health today and every day. So, you know what you gotta do. You better hit it hard. Here comes the hammer. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys. An awesome rest of October. And I'll see you very soon.